Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the uh, H3H3 H3 podcast featuring jo Jordan P. Peterson from Discord and Tarsia Orimuta from Twitter.com. Mm -hmm. How are you doing today, Jordan P. Peterson from Discord? <clears throat> oh, well, you know, it's a new day. It's a new, uh, really a new opportunity to just live a life to the fullest and just yeah. make... Uh, Make sure you're, you know, you got to fill your days. You got to make sure you're being productive. Do everything you can. You know? Now today we're going to discuss your new book, um, that you recently talked, uh, did the audio book for on a, it's, uh, on Rusty Cage's YouTube channel called The Art of Sucking Dick. Um, what inspired you to write this book? Well, look, I was like, you know, you know me. I go down. Yeah. I go down to the red light district occasionally. Occasionally. I uh, see, look in the car windows, or anyone, you know, knock on some windows, see, oh, what's going on here? Right. Yeah. You know. And you know, one dot, and like too many times, bro, too many times, I've just been. Like, this is your job, right? This is your, you, this is your job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm not expecting this this shit, you know? Yeah, no, I, I understand. If, you know, you pay good money. If you're gonna pay someone, yeah. If you're, if you're a quote-unquote professional, you should actually have the skills necessary yeah, to no, pull you, off something you, as Yeah, well. you pay good money for that service, and if they suck at it... Yeah, you know, five dollars, right? That's like... You know how many hours I have to work to get that much money? Like... <laughs> I, I think... Like 15 minutes minimum wage? Yeah. That's, you know, uh, okay. s some Rwandan school children don't even get that pa paid that much. Yeah, you know, I heard, I heard that um, this one girl had to choose whether she wanted to finish school or uh, eat for the next month. <laughs> and she, you know how much her school fees costed? How much? Thirteen, thirteen entire cent. Wow. You know what? That's so sad. You probably should. You know what? That's actually really sad. Oh no, fucking who cares? <laughs> who cares? I'm not her, I'm not her. Why would I care? <laughs> no, dude, actually. Dude, I think this is the racist episode now. I'm not, it has nothing to do with race. It, it shouldn't, with... it shouldn't, but it's gonna be fucking interpreted as that because we said Rwanda. Rwanda's it, not a race. It, we could have fucking said um, Vietnam, and the joke would have still been the fucking same. Actually, I heard about this person in Vietnam called, uh... Robin I think the name was... I think it was... Sarah. Let's go with... Yeah, that was their name. You know, common Viet Vietnamese name, you know, Ho, <laughs> Ho Chi Minh City. They just yeah. be living on the streets in Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, Pretty yeah. Sure I'm I don't know uh, how to pronounce anything Vietnamese. <laughs> you know, she lives she lives on the street, right? She lives on the street. Every day she's begging for food, right? Mm -hmm. so the real story, this, this happened. Uh, oh, this is a real real sit down moment. Yeah. Oh, this is real. Like I won't just make something up. I mean, yeah, and, uh, we're on the internet, you're not allowed to lie on the internet. You know, Vietnam. And you know Vietnam, a lot of Australian people visit Vietnam, you know, it's quite close enough. A lot of Australian culture, actually, you can find like elements of it within Vietnam, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know, a lot of Vietnamese people they listen to some Australian music, right? Specifically, a uh, famous children's entertainer, Rolf Harris. You know, Ooh, Rolf quite Harris. big Vietnam, quite a big Vietnamese, uh, almost a celebrity. You know? Yeah, yeah. More people know Rolf Harris in Vietnam than they do like actual Vietnamese, like. Pop, pop stars and stuff. Okay. Actually, you know, Rolf Harris, he wants to tap into that market, right? Yeah, yeah. So he goes, he goes, he goes to Vietnam and uh, he's like, damn, look at this, this homeless person, this homeless child. I'm, I'm gonna a song. So, you know, he whips, but he goes to town, he wobbles the fuck out of that wobble, singing, yeah. uh, I'm Jake. The peg do 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 with the with an extra leg do 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 
I don't know where I'm going with this. I should... That's the story. My my Vietnamese friend met fucking Roll Paris. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty crazy. That's yeah. actually fucking insane, right? Yeah. Like I haven't I haven't even met. Him. Yeah, that's that's pretty epic. Oh, can we start over? Can we actually fucking start over? No, we can't. This is a let's play. Right. You think can I'm you gonna just edit mute, can you mute the audio? Can you mute the audio for that whole part? Nah. Nah. That was a funny bit. No, it wasn't. It was. I laughed. I was going somewhere, then I realized that, like, you know, I, sh I shouldn't say. That. You actually shouldn't, like, say that. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, Rolf Harris tricky. is, like, an Australian icon, and to say that is pretty uh, offensive. You cannot just make fun of our cultural icon. Exactly. <laughs> I barely remembered who Rolf Harris was. Do you not know Rolf Harris? No, I know Rolf Harris. I just barely remembered him. Like, you mentioning him now was the first time I thought of him in years. So, you know. You do know what he did, though, right? No, I don't remember. Oh, you don't? <laughs> All right, fine. I don't. He's good friends with, uh... You know Robert Kelly? No. I heard him and, him and Rolf are good friends. Wow. You know what? You know who's pretty cool though? David what? Huey. Who's that? David Huey, Huey, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huey's pretty. He's pretty lit. Not gonna lie. I mean, have you seen mm. his Sandboy commercial? <laughs> you mean like? Oh yeah, fucking. He wouldn't say. It. He'd be like, I got an idea. Who's the David Hughes? I mean, David Huey. Mm. Huey. Dude, I fell asleep in this Pokemon game. Okay. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Did you like just forget that we're doing a let's play and not a podcast? Like you did no, in the last few no. episodes? I just don't. Wow, okay. Look, I'll care. Maybe I'll care when I come back and watch it. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really see the point of watching an episode of a Let's Play that you were in, but sure. Just from... sort of reflected, you know? Alright, fair Now I'll watch back and I'll be like, oh fuck, that Roll Paris bit was fucking terrible, you know? Oh, it probably was, but you know what, fuck it. Who cares? This is a Let's Play for fucking getting 200 Twitter followers. I know, most of your... most of your... Audience that aren't even Australian, they won't even know who Roll Paris is. Exactly, they're not even gonna know who fucking David Huey is. They're not even gonna know what fucking Sandboy Chips are. You call them fucking David Huey, no one calls him David Huey. You know what? You know what? I do. You know why? Because you are. Because that's his name. Ah, uh, that's not his name, his name is. Hugh Huey. Huey. His name is a Hugh, man. I saw a commercial the other day that had Huey in it. And I'm like, what really? are you doing, Huey? What are you Huey. doing? Hey, it's got an S in there, bro. Yeah, fuck the S. No one pronounces <laughs> S's in Australia. Excuse me? No one pronounces the S. Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Unless it's... Chris? Um, uh, uh, Chris? Unless it's like fucking someone, uh, unless it's like fucking Tim Tams, you know, so saying or Arnott's Australia. Biscuits. <laughs> Australia, we only have things in multiples of one. <laughs> we just have one Tim Tam. We unlocked something, yay, we do swish. We'll do that after I finish the main story. That's when we'll do all the fucking special episodes. For anyone who actually cares about the gameplay. Demon's Remastered, whatever it's called. Demon's Souls Remake. Oh yeah, that's getting remade. Yeah, thoughts on PS5. That's it. We'll save that for um, next episode. Are we ending it? What? Yeah, after this little story bit, we'll end, we'll end the episode. And then we'll talk about PS5 tomorrow. A week what after. Story? In the game. 
Oh, oh right. Okay, let me talk about. Um, I'm pro. I don't know if I'll play it though, because is it is it exclusive? Yeah. Because they did like Bloodborne. Bloodborne was like exclusive, wasn't it? Or am I tripping? Probably will be. That sucks. Because actually, it could be. Uh, it... It... Uh, you know what? If if they showed it, that that it might be on Xbox, the Xbox as well. No, I mean like, I want I don't want to fucking buy a console. I'm not gonna buy PS Five or Xbox, Xbox Box, whatever it's called. Xbox Series mm. X or something. Xbox Cube. Xbox Cube. Yeah. That dude, that's actually so fucking genius. Xbox Cube. That is genius. No. They're gonna it's, steal that it's, now. It's a, box, it's a box, but it's also a cube. It's yeah. like because box is a cube. Yeah. Oh, so you could do like, you could do the X cube. That dude. That is. That's pretty genius. And I can't wait, fucking, to like seven years when the when the new gen, next gen, rolls around and they've got the X X cube box or whatever. Oh my god. Fucking. What do I just just X X squared X? That's good. Yeah. Is this the story finished yet? Yeah, almost. Almost. All right. So, uh, um, wow, they're talking to each other while they're supposed to be sleeping. I'm going to mass test in a couple weeks. Tattoo, can you tell me what is um? I'm sorry. What is the cosine rule? I, I, I don't remember. I haven't done, I didn't, I haven't done maths since year 10. Did you not do maths in your HSE? No, I did not do maths in VCU. We, we do VCU. You did not. What was your ATAR, bro? Fucking. ATAR reveal love on stream. Fucking. 50, like 40, 44 or something. It's not like it matters. It's not like it matters anyway. I, I got into a uni. I'm, a I'm uni. in university. Exactly. I'm not even in a TAFE. I'm yeah. in a uni, so. Yeah, exactly. You're a, you're a bloke just doing their best. And my friend at work are like, they're doing like psychology or something. Oh, I'm, I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy who wears the fact that I got an E plus in accounting with a badge of honor. All right. Are you <laughs> you really are Jewish. <laughs> because I got an E plus in accounting. Oh yeah. I mean you took accounting. I took accounting. I shouldn't have. I regret taking accounting. It was a shit subject. What, what subjects did you do again? I forgot. Some like I did uh I did accounting, revolutions. Art, studio art, um, regular English, not not literature, and um, and uh, informatics. Did I forget anything? I don't think I did. Is that? It's like five or six. All right. Well, you didn't drop we'll anything. You know what? Tomorrow we'll talk about the PS5 and uh. Hold on, can we continue talking about this for one sec? Oh, okay, sure. No, I can. So it's fine. The time's passed. So. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.